What's up guys? It's George here and I'm uh, out at a park. Uh, I was going for a walk. I'm enjoying my birthday. Today is my 33rd birthday. I made it. <laughs> and every year on my birthday I like to do something to, uh, to, to push myself physically. I like to accomplish a new uh, physical feet something that you know beyond what I've done before and so today uh, what I did was uh, I woke up uh, I went for a 13.3 mile bike ride then I got off and I ran four miles and then I finished it up by doing 1,000 push-ups <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I love pushing myself into pain on my birthday and that's actually one of the things that I want to talk about in this video is pain pain is the key to a better life and this is so, you know, contrary to uh, uh, to to uh, you know the, the the modern way of life. Because in this day and age, the uh, you know everybody's addicted to comfort, and I I feel that's one of the biggest problems. You know, it's not so much I've coached hundreds of people in my life from things with addictions to weight loss, and the truth of the matter is that uh, the the real addiction is comfort. People are addicted to comfort and they, they, they run from the pain. They, it's why people smoke weed. You don't want to deal with the pain and whatever is going on in your life. You want to hide it. You want that comfort. Instead of being alone in your own thoughts and having to deal with the pain of whatever is going on in your life, you want comfort. Instead of, uh, uh, instead of adopting a healthy way of life, healthy foods and, and, and eating habits, people want comfort foods. In, in excess, in, a, in abundance, and that's what creates the problem. There's nothing wrong with, with comforts, but it's when you have an excessive amount of them. If you look at all the uh, uh, seven deadly sins, uh, really, they are all just sins of excess. When you have too much gluttony, when you have too much, that's what creates the problem. And we live in a day and age where people want too much comfort. They're, uh, they're, they're addicted to comfort. And because of it, it causes all kinds of problems in your life. That's the irony of it. The more that you run from pain, the more that the pain gets you even more. And the more that you have to deal with a deeper and a darker pain. Uh, and that's why what I've figured out and what I'm passionate about teaching other people is the run towards the pain. The obstacle is the way. And I'm talking about intelligent pain, pain that's uh, um, pain that's that's from growth, from from pushing yourself. Uh, you know, not just stupid thing like cutting your hand. I'm talking about pain from pushing yourself, from going, from pushing yourself through a challenge. One of the uh, and pain, the the thing about pain is pain creates memories. You know, when uh, you know, when I think back on my life and some of the most memorable moments of my life, they've been around times of pain, either. Um, because of something emotional traumatic that happened in my life or because I was pushing myself so hard challenging myself doing one of my extreme challenges that uh, you know that that time period was very memorable just because of so much pain involved where when you're just living the same day day after month month after month and it's just a comfortable life what's there really to remember about it nothing really stands out and our life is comprised of memories so why not live a life that is that is full of incredible memories and as you push yourself especially into the pain coming from physical fitness that is one of the, the, the greatest highs that you could ever experience in your life where you when you when you one of the, the, the greatest sense of accomplishment uh, and, and, and highs is when you push yourself physically and do something that you never thought you could do you push yourself beyond the barriers of pain uh, and what you ever even thought was was possible that's when you're gonna feel a high unlike anything that you've ever tried and I've tried just about every drug um, and, and I can tell you that pushing yourself physically physical pain that is one of the most rewarding and there's a reason why so many drug addicts and ex-alcoholics end up becoming um, extreme ultra marathon runners and, uh, and, and, and crazy endurance athletes because they've found uh, a new high that's better than anything that they've ever experienced before. Um, and so what I want to, you know, and, and someone who's worked with a lot of people, one of the things that I noticed is that most people, they want to run from the pain. And, uh, um, but the, the ones who I've noticed who are the most successful in breaking their addictions and changing their lives are the ones who embrace the obstacle in front of them. The obstacle is always the way. 
If you're making up excuses as to why you can't work out on a consistent basis, that is the way. The obstacle is the way. If you're in a relationship that you hate, that's bringing you all kinds of misery, and you know ending it and uh, starting over fresh would be better, but you're scared of the pain of going through the breakup and uh, uh, possibly being alone for a while and all the what ifs, the obstacle is the way. That is the way. The obstacle is the way in life. That's the, the irony of life, is that the obstacle is the way in running towards pain is going to bring you more joy and more pleasure than anything else that you've ever experienced. And when you're just living your life, uh, 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 you know, constantly having to um, uh, fill your life with comforts and be comfortable all the time, you're going to end up having more pain and a psychological pain that's going to haunt you um, throughout all your life. Um, and so, um, so guys, uh, um, I highly encourage you to get out there. Think about what it is that you've been avoiding in your life. What obstacle, what, uh, um, uh, what area is it that you've been avoiding? And then go, just, just enter into it like a, like, a, like, a, like a bull. Just charge into it. Deal with the pain and whatever is going to come from it. Realize that this period of pain is creating memories in your life. And you're going to get through it. And then you're going to get the greatest high of all, which is that sense of accomplishment. So I uh, hope you all having a great diet. And until next time, guys, let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. Let's make it a great life. See ya.